it's Carly Ware, and as a part two to our election special, I interviewed Miss Bolton and Mr. Wilson. Um, here is their interview. Hey, Pimp and Pitch, how are you? We're happy to be here. My name is Sarah Bolton, and this is my running mate, Chris Wilson. We hey, are guys. both graduates of Pittman Middle School. Uh, I currently have two kids here, Ellen and Phoebe, and we're excited to answer some of your questions today. So first question is, what would Chris and I do to um, better the school systems here in town? What do you think, Chris? Well, an interesting fact for you kids is that the mayor and council really does not control the schools. That is handled by the Board of Education and the school board. So, you know, we would help as a liaison, but they answer those questions. Hey Pittman, well we're here at Shirtle Park and as you can see it's a pretty busy night, lots of teenagers out here. Uh, question number two says, what would we do to upgrade or improve the playground? And as you can see, it needs a little love. Something that's very important to Sarah and I is safety. We want to make sure your children are safe on the playgrounds that we have here in town. We'd also like to sit down with council to come up with a plan on how we're going to spend money and Sarah? properly, right? A right. budget is all is what it's all about. So if we can raise some money and come up with a plan, we would love to make some improvements for this town. But one way that you guys can help improve this place already is by just picking up the trash. As we walked around this playground, there's water bottles, tea bottles, all sorts of stuff. So if you guys want to help make your town a better place, it starts with you. So feel free to get a bag and pick up the trash next time you're here. Okay, question number three. What plans do we have to assure that teens have a safe and legal place to hang out? Another great question. We just want to assure you teenagers now that as you're hanging out uptown, police officers may be asking you to move or not ride your bikes down the sidewalk. That is all because our businesses need that space to um, feed their customers. So you guys need to maybe find a new place to hang out. So we're sitting here at Shirtle Park. And Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Shirtle Park looked like for you when you were young? Thanks, Sarah. So this, this park was so much fun when I was a kid. We would come up on a Friday, Friday night, Saturday night, and we would come over to the concession stand here and you could get snacks. You could also take out uh, basketballs, volleyballs. Nice. Uh, you could go onto the tennis court. You could rent out a racket. We also utilize the shuffleboard uh, that's still in place. And I really think we have a lot of value added right in this park. We just need to clean it up and we need to schedule a plan to make it happen. Yeah, I think that's all doable. You guys think you want to do shuffleboard on a Friday night? Let us know. Some kayak races and things like that. Chris, you want to talk a little bit about more about that? Sure. So Sarah and I were talking and we feel Al Alcyon Lake is a great resource and it's really underutilized. And we feel that if we had kids that had an opportunity to go out on boats and yes. do it safely, we would uh, have another place for an outlet for the kids to hang out. Especially teens your age. And um, Chris is in the Coast Guard Auxiliary and you teach boating safety. Yes, so I'm the national director of boating safety for the whole country. So I could use my skills to help in that area. I think that would benefit you guys as teens as we want to see you guys have a safe town to live in um, with productive and fun activities that help you guys um, enjoy your childhood and make memories because this town, um, I, you know Chris, we both grew up here and we have such great memories which is why we're actually running for council because we want to give back and we want to make Pittman a great place for the next generation. So we hope you have enjoyed your time.